Hello and welcome everybody. It's Dr. Lazar here again, and we are here with the uh, Spring Walk and Roll Junior Culmination Ceremony. So this is the exciting moment that we've all been waiting for when we get to announce the winning school, get to present this awesome trophy, the traveling trophy, and uh, all of our other prizes that we have and such. And I have some lovely ladies here with me. I have uh, Miss Chastity Townsend from the Education Foundation, and she's accompanied by uh, two young ladies we're shooting here at Long in our impartial school that wasn't involved in the contest. Ladies, please introduce yourself. I'm Mia Abusala. I'm Lily Marshall. All right, and they will, a little bit later in the program, be pulling the names of the winners here, right, um, from the different boxes we have with all the names. So before we do that, though, it's very important I want to thank everybody involved, right? Most importantly, the students and participants, parents, community members, all staff, and of course our partnerships, right? So the Dearborn Schools for allowing this to take place in the schools, uh, U of M Dearborn for coordinating this grant, Beaumont under the Healthy Dearborn umbrella. So thank you everyone involved, and of course the Michigan Fitness Foundation and MDOT who are the ones uh, funding this grant from the state level. This has been an awesome opportunity throughout the year through all three legs of our program, and um, I'm just so happy to be here, and I'm so, very happy as all of you will find out with the large participation numbers that we saw especially an uptick from the fall until the spring which is huge and it's great so the one thing i want to talk about prior to the awards is just because we're coming to the end of this leg in the program it doesn't mean that we want you to stop exercising and being fit right the most important takeaway here is that right increased fitness level increased health by walking and riding your bikes to school. In addition, we already know, we've talked about this many times, it decreases the drop off and pickup traffic at schools such as this and all the ones involved. And again, a nice green footprint for the environment. So just because there's no prizes and such at stake anymore, don't stop. Keep up the awesome trend that you've built. Okay, that's fantastic. This video will obviously be aired and you'll be seeing this live at your school soon or maybe in Schoology, wherever you choose to watch it or more than once. And in conjunction with this at your schools, the participation prizes are gonna be drawn just like back in the fall. So we have helmets, bike lights, and a few extra t-shirts and such for that your PE teachers and or principals will raffle off to all of you participants out there at the 10 schools that participated. All right, the really cool number I want everybody to hear, which is fantastic. Across these six weeks of the spring program, we had 15,564 trips to and from school across these 10 schools. That's like 7,000 some greater than even the fall, which we thought was awesome. You know, the fall we were around 8,300 some, that's almost double. So this is fantastic, Dearborn. Keep up the outstanding work, okay? Now the moment of truth, what everybody's been waiting for, this awesome trophy which Miss Chastity said was as big as her. I mean, and, and this, is, this is the enormity of the trophy. because We want this to be something cool, right? Salina were the recipients and had this housed at their building, Salina Intermediate, since the fall. Now that we're in the spring contest, we're gonna announce our first place winner. We're gonna do it working up from third to first, okay? We're not gonna go all the way back to 10, but just some amazing numbers we got in the top three schools. So coming in third place overall, with 2,516 trips and 22% of the student population participating was Howard Elementary. Coming in second place, okay, with 3,231 trips and 25% of the student population participating was Salina Intermediate, the defending champs from the fall. And here we go. In first place for the spring competition here in 2022 is McDonald Elementary with 3,265 total trips and 35, an amazing 35% of the population contributing to this. Great job. That's fantastic. So this trophy here will be housed at McDonald for the remainder of the year and hopefully until next year, which we'll speak about a little bit later in the program. This is fantastic, and uh, Dr. Mugni, I'll be on my way to see you soon with this. All right, let's talk about more prizes and other things that schools are gonna receive here. So, something we didn't mention in the fall, and this was something that came about with some extra funding and, and 
and reallocations and all this fancy stuff that nobody needs to know or care about, right? But the exciting stuff is schools get things, all right? Four bike repair stations. Okay, you may have seen those out in the Dearborn community. So if you need to service your bike, we have four of these to award to obviously four of the schools. Uh, we kind of did this in a certain order. So obviously the winning school will receive one. So McDonald will be receiving one of these bike repair stations. Okay, then we thought appropriately the school with the highest number of participation should also get one. Maybe not the highest number of raw numbers. Well, it turned out they were both McDonald. Okay, so we went to second place, which is our Salina Intermediate. So congratulations, Salina Intermediate. You'll be getting a bike repair station along with McDonald. And then we said, why don't we look at from there on down which schools had the most bikers, right? Because this was a program where students could walk or roll. So the most rollers, the most bicyclists, the school. So the next most bikers behind those two schools was, well, actually, I take that back. The first highest number of bikers was Howard Elementary. Okay, so Howard will be awarded a bike repair station. And then the final and fourth bike repair station uh, is going to our third place for the most bikers, which is behind our Salina, which was second place, but they're already getting one, and that will be Lindbergh Elementary. So this is awesome. We're gonna end up with two bike repair stations on the east side of the city, two bike repair stations on the west side of the city, and these are wonderful opportunities where if the bike breaks down on you, there's an air pump and other tools and such where you can kind of repair this on the fly so you're not stranded and it obviously lends itself nicely to our agenda here of fitness and health and riding these bicycles. So congratulations to all four of those schools that will be receiving these bike repair stations, kind of like when we distributed uh, bicycle racks to schools based on need in the fall. So this is really cool. All right, I think this is the one that everybody's excited about, especially from the student level, right? If you remember in the fall, we had the opportunity again in the spring here for two brand new bicycles. Okay, this is kind of like the whole inclusive thing. You're gonna get your a certificate here, depending on the names that these ladies draw, the two lucky names, you'll receive a certificate as such. And you will have to take that on over to Role Models Bike Shop in Allen Park, kind of a full service community bike shop there that will help you with this and any of your other needs. And we thank them for being involved in this program. And, and they will give you a tour and show you everything about it and personally customize and fit your bike to your size, shape, and need. So it's pretty cool. So now just as we did in the fall, again in the spring here, okay, we know the McDonald won, okay? So we're gonna have our drawing from the McDonald bucket to see who wins the free bike there, and then our drawing from the other bucket to see who wins the free bike out of the other nine schools, okay? So without further ado, as the wind picks up here, so here we go with the lucky bike winner, the brand new bike from our winning school, McDonald. Stirring the pot, here comes the lucky name. Let's take a look here. All right, Miriam Mana. Okay, congratulations, Miriam. She is our winner from McDonald. That is our McDonald winner, okay? And let's go ahead and take a look here. This is our second bicycle. Let's see who it is, and I'll be able to determine where it's from once we see. Connor Leonard. Yes, yes, Leonard, correct. Connor Leonard, and it is actually from Whitmore Bowls. So congratulations, all right. There are our two lucky bike winners. All right. So we have two bike winners. You will get your certificates that I'll deliver to your schools here even this evening. So your principals will proudly award those to you and make sure you get over to role models in a timely fashion. That'll be on the certificate and everything. What I wanna stress is just because the third leg of this program, the spring contest here came to an end last Friday and especially with this culmination ceremony today and all these great prizes and everything, it's not over, okay? We still have bike safety training courses that are going on, those bike rodeos, okay? That information is posted in Schoology for you and your phys ed teachers have been speaking to you about them. 
some of our first trainings, right, each of the 10 schools has two training sessions. Some of them took place as recently as this past weekend. Ms. Tracy is out in the community and running these. So the information is on Schoology or with your PE teacher. If you're looking forward to this, there are still slots available at most of the schools, okay? There's only 20 slots across two trainings per school, so make sure you hurry up and sign up with parental permission. You do need to do this in person through your PE teacher. These are wonderful opportunities. Ms. Tracy teaches you how to be safe on your bike, and especially she takes you through the neighborhood near your school, which is very beneficial to go on a ride and, and learn how to protect yourself when you're doing this. So this will actually run throughout the summer with the different dates at the different schools. So please look into this. It's something you should be interested in, okay? The one thing we are gonna do now, is like we said, it's not over. We're all hoping this isn't over for the Dearborn community, okay? As I've announced in other venues, we have gone out for this grant again in kind of a larger fashion with all the same partners involved and everything else. And of course, through MDOT and the Michigan Fitness Foundation, if we get funding, okay, and we have our fingers crossed that this will happen and there will hopefully be an announcement in the near future, this would be able to expand this program from the 10 schools we're using this year to 18. Okay, so 18 elementary age schools next year would be involved in this and that's what we are hoping for. So fingers crossed everybody that we can continue on with these same 10 and grow this throughout the community. Again, I wanna mention on the way out, this is going full circle to back at the beginning. Because we may receive this next year, and because it's important to your own lives in the community, keep on being fit, keep on exercising, keep on being healthy, keep on walking to school, keep on riding to school, keep reducing this vehicular traffic situation, okay? And keep your community green. This is what it's all about. Don't stop just because there's a trophy and bikes aren't at stake in the short term here, right? Keep up the great work that you've started, okay? So keep on walking and rolling, Dearborn. We're really proud of you. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for being a part of this program. And thank you ladies for helping here. And I'm sure these two lucky winners, thank you, of course. And we look forward to seeing them and, and pictures with their new bikes and such that we'll of course subsequently post on Schoology and such. So great job Dearborn. Thank you everybody.